Hello everyone, Jeremy Martin 72 here, and I'm going to show you how to put some artwork on your USB Trezor One wallet. Now you want to want to go to trezor.io forward slash start and drag down to where you see Trezor One and click on the image. And you're going to see a warning about the tamper-proof box that was very difficult to get into and very much tamper-proof. You will click continue to wallet. You will want to plug in your USB Trezor One wallet into the USB port. And then you're going to click on check for devices. Now, instead of putting the pin in, you're going to want to hit the X at the top and close that out. Don't worry, you can always pull that back up by hitting try again. So we're going to go ahead and close out that error and we're going to go to home screen. All right, now these are all images that you can put on your physical USB Trezor One wallet. And here's an example. That is what your wallet will look like. Or that, or that, or that. And they give you quite a few. Honestly, I like what they offer you. And we're going to get the home screen editor, and it's going to open up in a separate tab. And like every one of my how-to videos, I'm going to start from the top left and work my way down to the bottom right. Okay, so on the right here, this is we are in the Trezor home screen editor. And right here, right off the bat, you can upload an image from your file manager. This right here is image from URL. If you have the address, you can plug the address in and push upload, and it will go in onto the stage. Color preview is what is inside of the highlighted area on the stage. All right? That is the highlighted area. This is the stage. This checkerboard right here is what's left over of the stage because of differences in height and width. Now, if you... If you hover over top of the highlighted area on the stage, you will see if you look at the color preview that what's in the color preview is what you're going to see, is what is highlighted. So if you stretch it out, it stretches out. All right? If you narrow it down, here, let me drag it down a little bit. There you go. If you narrow it down, and as you can see, it keeps it in, in resolution, too. So if you try to drag on one, on one dimension, you notice how the rest of it just kind of falls in place as far as the resolution goes. And this is what your final result will look like. And this, of course, is a, a save button for when you're good. All right, so we're going to scroll down. I'm going to try and keep that color preview up there. Okay, so rotation. We can go like this. You can rotate it however you want. And let me. Brightness. You know, you can look in the final result and see the differences there. Sharpen. Black background, invert, fake shading. All the credits of the people that have everything to do with this editor. And also, if you are in the development, they offer you to fork it on GitHub. I love GitHub. All right, so we're going to upload our own image from our file manager. And I got a stock photo here. And it shows up on the stage. Um, that's not too bad. I'll, uh, I'll stick with it like that. Now, if you want, you can move this thing around or stretch it or anything. But right now, it's pretty good. You, you get the idea. And um, I'm going to tweak it a little bit now. And too much brightness. Uh, it's 
see what it looks like without. No, no. Let's sharpen it up a little bit. Well, that's not too bad. And then we'll get it right there. Okay. And whenever you've got it right, you just go right ahead and hit save. And it will download to your file manager on your device. And you can go ahead and close this out because you're done with this. All right, now what you're going to want to do is right next to custom image, you're going to hit the upload image button right there. And you're going to hit what says home screen. It is going to be a PNG file. Go ahead and open it. And you see the preview of it right there. And then you're going to want to hit set. If you like what you see, you go ahead and hit set home screen. And it's going to ask you to confirm on your USB wallet, you also it'll give you a choice between cancel and confirm. I'm going to put, do you really want to change the home screen? I'm going to confirm it. And there it goes. And that's it. It's beautiful. Hey, my brothers and sisters, have fun and Google on.